blankets. I'm headed to go cut some English ivy. I'm headed to go cut some English ivy so I can get me some plant starts. So over here, right at the edge of our property, there's some ivy growing, really pretty English ivy. And I'm gonna go cut me a few pieces, see if I can get me some plants started. So I have my new favorite accessory with me. I love it. I made this basket last week and it's like my favorite thing in the whole wide world right now. We've been using it for eggs. I'll probably use it for veggies and fruit. Who knows? But I just love it. I just love it. Already got roots, so this will be a good, a good start for a plant. That's a good one. There. That will probably be all we need, and we'll, we'll make a start for Nana too. evenings this week we took a walk and while we're out walking it started raining and it was very cold rain and it soaked us to the skin. I really don't like getting wet but it was a fun adventure for the kids. We've got a really fun day planned for today. It's about it's almost 2 30 in the afternoon now. My in-laws are coming out. They'll be out shortly. They're going to spend the afternoon and evening with us, and then they're going to take the kids back into town for a couple days. We're on spring break, and we like to take our spring break the same time that my father-in-law does. He teaches, and he is on spring break this week. So we put our spring break so we could be off when Paul was off. And we couldn't have asked for better weather for spring break. It is gorgeous right now. I mean, it is just breathtaking. I have the windows open. The sun is shining. I, from where I'm at, I can't see a cloud anywhere. It's just gorgeous. So we've spent the morning getting ready for Grimmy and Paul to come, making sure everybody has enough clean laundry, which is a struggle when you have small children because especially when they're old enough to dress themselves because you never know when they're just gonna sneak inside and change clothes. And what you thought was plenty of clothes for the week only last about two or three days. So this is my life right now. So making sure everybody had everything they need to be gone for a couple days. And now I'm making chocolate pies to surprise my in-laws with. We're gonna have like a, a hot dog roast. I'm gonna make some chili and we're just gonna have a, a really fun afternoon and evening. And like I said, the weather's perfect. So we're gonna have a blast. So something else I'm really excited about that happened today was I got my antique clock put up on the wall. She is wound and she's actually chiming on the hour. I thought at first, Maybe there were some issues because whenever I had her originally, she didn't chime. <laughs> but I think the problem was she wasn't completely level. But I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So I'm really happy to get that up on the wall at last. I've had it for well over a year. My sister-in-law gave her to me. And I've just been waiting until we finally got in our new house to put it up and I just love it. Mm, look at that luscious perfection. Oh my. I'm not going to do it.
do a super good job in cleaning the pot because me and the kids are gonna enjoy the pudding because it's a little too much to fit in the pie pans, but that's okay. We'll enjoy some chocolate pudding real quick. on the ugly side today, but like I said before, it's okay. It's just for family. This will not affect the taste. I usually do take a little bit more care whenever I actually make these to sell, but like I said, it's just for us today, so it's not a big deal. Good morning! Caught me in the middle of a project. This is a project I've been wanting to get done for a while. And since my in-laws took my kids for the next couple days during spring break, I'm actually gonna get some stuff done. So this room, <laughs> this room y'all, this has been the disaster area storage room since we moved here. And I've slowly, but slowly, <laughs> very slowly, but surely been working on trying to get things done up here. Um, it used to be like a, basically a huge walk-in closet slash playroom. The people who owned the house before and I am taking it and turning it into the schoolroom slash craft sewing room area. So I thought I would show you what all I've got done so far. I don't have before pictures because let's just be honest, I'm hoping to forget that this room ever looked like that. Literally everything, anything and everything that could just be stuck up here and forgotten was in this room. You couldn't even see the floor. But I didn't take pictures because I want to forget that chapter in my life and move on. But I'll show you what I've gotten done so far. So this room is directly off of my girl's bedroom. So you actually step out and down from my girl's room and then walk in here. So this is a really cool little room. I love the shape of the ceiling. So far I have my some of my fabric in here. I still have a cubicle shelf that will be in here as soon as we can get the cargo trailer unloaded and that will take care of a lot of this stuff. Um, my husband has camouflage up here. He doesn't really have a spot in his shop yet that is rodent and critter proof and we really don't want a bunch of critters getting all of his expensive hunting camo. So, as I do know, it just leave it up here for a while. It's not really bothering anybody. But I've got, like I said, my sewing stuff here. Some of my sewing books. Some of my sewing books are downstairs. And I'm working on getting stuff up on the walls. My thread rack is going to go there. And these two cute little tables I got from Ikea. I may end up actually putting them together and putting them in the middle of the room. I'm not sure yet. My goal is to have a place where um, my older girls can come up here and do the parts of their school that they can do by themselves away from their loud little brother. Bless his heart, but he's loud. Whenever my cubicle shelf gets up here, that's where my machines will actually live. They'll live on the cubicle and then we'll have the tables free for anything and everything. So that's like the craft side of the room up here. And also there's hooks upstairs so I can hang my gravity fed iron from the ceiling, which is going to be awesome. Now over on the other side, this is going to be a work in progress. It was actually um, filled with shelves, like curtain shelves, these shelves, there were three of them. And I took them down, obviously, but the piano is up here and then the kids bookshelf with all their fun books. Some of the stuff that's there is mine too. I just haven't had a, a better place to put them. We do have bookshelves downstairs, but those shelves are about maxed out. And of course we have to have the Hank the Cowdog Ranch map up on the wall. And this right here, <laughs> this is the school cabinet. It's got their school books in it. It's a little crazy. This is definitely on my to-do list of organize and make better. But, and at some point I'll probably paint all this. So growing up, we had a cabinet door that my mom marked our growth on periodically. And 
whenever my mom and dad decided to sell the house, mom was like, we have to take the cabinet door with us. We can't leave it. So my dad actually built a new cabinet door and replaced it. And they literally took the tall broom closet cabinet door with them to put in their new house because all seven of us kids, it's our, it was our growth. So I realized fairly early on that I wanted to be able to have a place to record the kids growth but that could go with us from house to house. I knew when we lived in town that we weren't going to be there forever. We were eventually going to move. So Jacob got me this at Hobby Lobby and it's not exactly to scale but I have an anchor point so that from the floor to like number two and then I just mark the kids height and this will go with us wherever we live which this should be the last place that we live I hope I don't ever want to move again I hate moving but this way we'll be able to take the kids records with us wherever we go so if you are a young mommy and it's likely that you probably won't be living in the house where you're living forever get you something like this that way you can have your kids um, height with you and don't use like a uh, like a door frame or something that's physically attached to the house get you something that you can take with you I'm really happy we did so that's what I've been doing the last cup the last day and a half that my kids have been gone I've made a lot of progress I'm really happy with everything that I've gotten done so far and I will show y'all more in the future after I get the rest of my shelves up here thanks for joining me for this week's video I hope you enjoyed it. Lots of just chatty info, but if you aren't already a subscriber, I would love it if you would subscribe. And you can also follow me on Instagram. I post there several times a week and I'll see you again in the next video.